What dreams may come to Electric Boogaloo. Episode 2. Oh, Coco, we just escaped eternal torment in the seventh circle of hell, and now we're here in the sixth. I wonder what wacky circumstances and characters we'll discover here. <coughs> Bad smell. Oh, yes, Coco, that's the heretics and non believers being burned alive in what you might call Doubtfire. Non believers, Doubtfire, get it? Just like that movie I was in. <laughs> Uh oh, Coco, don't look now, but there's some people coming this way. Just that casual. Stop right there! <laughs> snake women. Yes, Coco, this might be bad news. The Furies, half woman, half snake, the spirits of vengeance whose sole purpose is to punish men. Kinda like my ex wife. Trespasser! Please don't hurt us. We're merely passing through. You see, there's been a bit of a mix up, and we're just making our way out of hell to paradise where we obviously belong. We'll see about that. What should we do with them? Let's suck their blood. Cast them in the flaming tombs. Yes, I want to hear the hairy ones screams. Ladies, 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 what the hell are you doing? This is no way to treat our new guests. Sorry, Charlie. Pardon my snake bitches. They get a little bloodthirsty sometimes. Wait a minute. You look familiar. Aren't you the famous cult leader, Charles Manson? The one and only. I see my reputation still precedes me. Welcome to my little slice of paradise. Well, I guess it makes sense that you'd be imprisoned in the level of hell that punishes heretics and false messiahs, but why aren't you being roasted alive? Well, you see, at first I was. But then let's just say these little snake bitches found a soft spot for old Charlie here. <laughs> They're scaly little snake snatches. Interesting. I would think a snake woman would have kind of a cloaca or a vent or something like a regular reptile. Nope. Human beaver. I guess you learn something new every day. Anyways, I'm Robin Williams, and this is my sidekick, Coco the Sign Language Speaking Gorilla. We're making our way out of hell because we've been falsely imprisoned. Well, pleased to meet you. You must be thirsty. Have a sip of some of my Jesus juice. Oh, thank you very much. I'm actually quite parched. Not a lot of water in hell here. It's drier than Glenn Close's dusty old pussy. Here you go, Coco. Wet your whistle. Bad taste. Well, beggars can't be choosers. So, Chucky, like I was saying, Coco and I are breaking out of this hellish prison. Would you care to join us? You obviously have a lot of skills. It could be very useful to us on our journey. Plus, you've got to be itching to escape, too. I mean, it's still hell. Escape? What the hell I want to escape for? The world up there is a bigger prison than this is. What do I want to go up there and work for? I'm the king here, man. I run the underworld, guy. I tell people what to do and where to do it. What I want to leave here for? I deal the cards, man. The game is mine. <laughs> Coco feels strange. Oh, now that you mentioned it, Coco, me too. Say that, Chucky. What was in that drink you gave us? I call it my Jesus juice. It's a tea made from Indian black tea, crushed cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, licorice root, and a whole lot of LSD. Oh, yeah, that would explain it. I'm feeling quite groovy. Whoa, Coco, I think my flowers are blooming. I'm seeing heffalumps and woozles, Coco. Everything's a cartoon. It's like that movie I was in, Aladdin or Fern Gully. <laughs> What's that, Coco? Dancing bananas? Oh, I see them too. Look at them go. Now, I know I said I didn't want to escape, but that doesn't mean that old Charles Manson doesn't like a good adventure from time to time. So, I'll help you two. My serpentine harem will survive for a few days while I guide you through the upper circles of hell. Think of me as your Virgil. Oh, whatever you say, Chucky boy, I'm just gonna lay down for a minute here. I'm high as a kite. I've been this off my face since the night my good friend John Belushi overdosed and died in my room at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh, I'm everything and nothing all at once. I'm a walking contradiction. Oh, I'm a robot with human skin like that movie I was in by Centennial Man. Tune in, turn on, and drop out, my man. Old Charlie's got some big plans for you, my man. Oh, 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 you better believe it. When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide. And I stop 